This is the most competitive computer science course in the UK at just 4.5% Oxford's BA Computer Science is tough to crack. Now that's down from a 30% offer rate just 15 years ago, showing the prevalence of computer science and how popular it has become as a degree subject, now outpacing the likes even of economics and finance or medicine or law degrees. Now, the acceptance rates are the standard Oxford A star AA, and there is an additional test called the MAT, the Mathematics Aptitude Test that Oxford run themselves. Being Oxford, there's also an interview that you need to attend, and you will have to have a reference and a personal statement too. Today, we're going to talk about how to navigate all of these and stand out in each of them to give you the best possible shot of getting into this highly competitive course. Now, number one, let's talk stats. At 4.5%, this is one of the most competitive courses that we deal with. At the Profs, we're a network of over 1,000 ex-admissions professionals and professional admissions consultants such as myself, and we have a 92% success rate of helping candidates to get into their first and or second choice university, typically Oxford and Imperial or Cambridge and Imperial, and 9 out of 10 of those candidates will get an offer from one of those universities when we support them. Now, you can increase that chance from 4.5% by looking at the other courses. Unlike Cambridge, Oxford also offers maths and computer science and philosophy and computer science. These courses would increase your chances from 4.5% to 8 and 9% respectively. And whilst only 17% of candidates are interviewed for Oxford's straight computer science course, that goes up to a whopping 32%. So you're twice as likely to be interviewed for philosophy and computer science although there are only 12 places available for that course across the entire university. So consider which of those is most appealing to you and strongly consider doubling your chances by combining computer science with either maths or philosophy. Now, slightly controversially, sorry Oxford, I would also recommend strongly considering picking Cambridge over Oxford. We'll go into Oxford's unique and fantastic programme shortly, but Cambridge has 8.5%, double the acceptance rate. There's 130 places rather than 40 per course. It's probably slightly more prestigious for computer science at Cambridge, although it's very close. So you've got a higher acceptance rate, you've got a more prestigious university, and you've got uh, 50 to 75 percent of people being interviewed rather than just 17 to 30 percent. So really consider that as a strategic variable. You're probably thinking, but Richard, Oxford has just the A-star AA requirement compared to Cambridge's two A-stars and an A. Well, I can tell you that over 90% of candidates have three A-stars to both courses, and over 95% candidates have further maths at both courses. So really, if you don't have three A-stars, you have a very, very high bar to jump over. But there are still ways to get in. Let's talk about how we have helped candidates get in with lower than three A-stars now. So. Tip number two, how to stand out from all of those with three A stars. That is to prepare for the MAT, the Mathematics Aptitude Test. This is a specialist, very tricky maths test unique to Oxford applicants. Because of that, we recommend putting at least 10 weeks into preparing for this test. The average offer holder has a score of 74, roughly the top 10% of test takers. By preparing for this exam and scoring highly in it, you maximize your chances of getting an interview and of course an offer. And it is the only chance really to get in with lower than three A star predicted grades. Of course, there's also the strategy if you strongly feel that your predicted grades are lower than what you'll achieve, and you do end up achieving three A stars, which is higher than your prediction, you could of course reapply next year if you're comfortable to be taking a gap year. Tip number three, avoid the AI noob trap. So many people think they want to uh, so many people think they want to study computer science, not really knowing what it is. They talk loosely about AI and Elon Musk and self-driving cars, and in doing so, they show they don't really understand what computer science is. 
the strongest candidates will have research, maybe into machine learning, but likely into things such as data structures or what Oxford is standing out in in its research fields to make them stand out. So I strongly recommend looking at the research groups on Oxford's website. That means looking at your chosen college, looking at the dons in computer science, looking at their areas of expertise, what they've written, and talking about readings in that field. Maybe even name dropping the abstract of one of their papers. Now, Oxford Estant stood out recently and made a name for itself in automata theory and functional programming. If you don't know what these are, you already have a disadvantage over the sorts of candidates that I prepare with our premium services who will be reading up on these. So I strongly recommend reading up on a niche topic within computer science because at least 70% of your personal statement should be dedicated to these readings. So if we're not mentioning AI, what are we talking about? Well, I strongly recommend looking at free online courses. MIT has an amazing selection, but there's fantastic free courses on websites such as Coursera, which can give you a flavor of computer science as an academic discipline, give you things to talk about in your personal statement, give you a course that the reference and you can talk about, and help you to stand out in that interview. If you align it to something which Oxford specializes in, such as automata theory, you might well get bonus marks and be more likely to get invited to that interview. Only 17% of people were invited last year. So take a free online course, look at the readings at the end of that online course, and put those into your personal statement, and make sure before the interview, of course, you have read up on those so you can talk about them in detail. My next tip, and probably the most important for your personal statement, I highly recommend learning an object-oriented language. Many people will look at Python, maybe they've looked a bit of HTML and CSS if they've done some website programming, Heck, you can even look at something like uh, JavaScript, Game Maker, Unity, or Godot and create a game. Anything that gives you an understanding of what computer science coding really are and talk about what you create and what you've learned from is going to give you a big advantage over those who haven't done that in their personal statement. My number one tip is the lesser known language Haskell, because this is taught at universities, meaning you'll sound like you've already studied the first term of work. So learn an object-oriented language, learn one in good detail, talk about in your personal statement, make sure a reference mentions it, and of course, then have your interview talking about something that you know about, something that you have built. Very importantly for Oxford is to not overlook the reference. Your referee will write a statement similar to your personal statement, and Oxford typically look at those before they look at your personal statement. So make sure you know who that person is, make sure they know who you are, and they know all of the fantastic readings, additional courses, and object-oriented languages that you've learned so that they can give you the best chance of being invited to an interview. Finally, when you're applying to a university such as Oxford or Cambridge, you are of course applying not just the university, but also a college. It's really important to go to an open day, if you can in person, although virtual if you can't, because by walking around the colleges, you'll understand which of the colleges are most suitable for you, which ones you have a personal affinity to, and you might even meet one of those dons that's interviewing you in the final interview, giving you a huge advantage to stand out when you get there. Now, that's just a tiny amount of the tens of tips and tricks we give our Oxbridge, uh, such as Oxford Computer Science candidates in our premium services. If you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also, I try and get back to every comment I possibly can to help all the students that we can. I've also written an exemplar personal statement that you can get in your inbox by clicking on the link in our description to see how I would apply for a top university and the sort of standard your personal statement needs to be at if you're to be one of those 4.5% of lucky candidates. Lastly, if you would like to talk to us, you can have a no commitment, that's a free consultation with one of my team to discuss your chances and understand our premium services and how we can help make you one of the lucky few. So if you want to get the maximum help, talk about how we can put the odds in your favor using the information on screen now and in the link below. Most importantly, good luck in your applications.